Have you ever felt intense fear of judgment or rejection in social situations? If this rings a bell, you might be familiar with what we're going to delve into today. Social anxiety. This isn't a fleeting feeling of discomfort or nervousness that comes and goes. No, it's a constant companion for some, lurking in the shadows, turning simple everyday interactions into daunting tasks. Social anxiety is more than just shyness. It's a diagnosable mental health condition, one that can significantly impact various aspects of life. Picture this, you're invited to a party. The mere thought of walking into a room full of people, the possibility of being the center of attention, sends shivers down your spine. It's not just about being nervous, it's an intense fear, a dread that can be paralyzing. And you're not alone. Millions of people around the world grapple with social anxiety. It's a common yet often misunderstood condition. Many chalk it up to simply being an introvert or excessively shy, but it's far more complex and debilitating than that. It can lead to avoidance of social situations, creating a sense of isolation, and can even impact one's career and personal relationships. Early identification and intervention are crucial. Like any other mental health condition, it needs to be addressed and not brushed under the carpet. There are treatments available that can help manage social anxiety, such as cognitive behavioral therapy and exposure therapy. So social anxiety isn't just about being shy or introverted, it's a real and serious condition that can affect anyone. Now, you might be wondering, how is social anxiety different from just being shy? Well, let's dive into that. Both shyness and social anxiety involve a sense of discomfort in social situations. However, it's the intensity and the implications of this discomfort that set the two apart. Shyness is a personality trait. It's that feeling of awkwardness or apprehension that some of us might experience when we're meeting new people or stepping into unfamiliar social environments. It's a part of who we are and while it might make us a bit hesitant or reserved, it doesn't necessarily disrupt our daily functioning. On the other hand, social anxiety is a diagnosable mental health condition. It goes beyond just feeling a bit uneasy in social scenarios. It's an intense fear of being judged, humiliated, or rejected. This fear can be so overwhelming that it interferes with our regular activities. It can prevent us from pursuing opportunities, forming relationships, and even performing tasks that seem simple to others. Understanding this distinction is crucial because it affects how we approach solutions. Shyness might be addressed by gradually pushing our comfort zones and practicing social skills. But for social anxiety, professional help may be needed. Cognitive behavioral therapy, exposure therapy, and other interventions have shown to be effective in managing social anxiety. So, while it's perfectly normal to feel shy or nervous from time to time, social anxiety is a persistent and overwhelming fear that needs to be addressed. So, what can be done if you or someone you know is struggling with social anxiety? This is a question we often ask ourselves when we or someone close to us is grappling with such a distressing condition. It's crucial to understand that early identification and intervention can make a world of difference when it comes to social anxiety. Recognizing the signs and symptoms can be the first step towards a journey of recovery. Just as with any other health issue, it's important to seek professional help. It's not an admission of weakness, but a testament to strength and resilience. You wouldn't hesitate to visit a doctor for a physical ailment, would you? Then why should mental health be any different? The good news is, there are effective treatment options available. Cognitive behavioral therapy, for instance, is a type of psychotherapy that can help you understand and change thought patterns that lead to harmful behaviors and feelings of anxiety. Then there's exposure therapy, a method that gradually exposes you to the situations that you fear under controlled conditions. It's about facing the fear head on and over time, reducing the power it holds over you. These therapies often used in combination can help you regain control of your life, enabling you to navigate social situations with less fear and more confidence. Remember, there's no shame in seeking help. If you're struggling with social anxiety, reach out to a mental health professional. The journey towards healing begins with a single brave step. We've covered a lot today from understanding what social anxiety is to how it differs from shyness and what can be done to help. Remember, early identification and intervention are key. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates on mental health at Glee Glow Junction. We're dedicated to keeping you informed and empowered. Take care, and remember, together we can build a supportive and resilient community. Stay tuned for the next Glee Glow Junction episode.